One of the biggest challenges when you're building a facility or even a temporary rig is how do you interconnect device A to device B when they have slightly different formats, different gazintas, different gazouters, or, or the, the video and the audio are completely incompatible. And for years, we've had to use glue devices that do those interfacing, and, and those devices can often be quite big. And then we send Jimmy out to go, how might you do this in an alternate way? And he comes up with a duck. Yep, a multi-definition duck, in fact, a mm. down-up cross-converter from Decimator Design. A fascinating device. It's in the classic red of the Decimator Design devices. It takes SDI in, and that can be high def or standard def. Or 3G. And then turns it into almost anything else you might want. Yeah, you can get composite, uh, YC, component, and you get a pair of SD or HD or 3G outputs. And along with that uh, conversion, you get also the ability to do things like change aspect ratio. And, and, and change the standard from one thing to another and uh, come out on an uh, HDMI port. Yep. If this isn't the absolutely connects anything to anything device, I would eat my hat. But wait, there's more. Yeah, there is more. Because um, if you're in a situation where you need to be monitoring a signal, um, mm. then there are certain things you want to know. If you've got embedded audio, you want to know what your audio levels are doing. This will actually give you four blocks of four audio meters. So, so you can up, up to 16 channels. Up to channels. 16 channels of audio metering, which mm. will do as superimposed on the screen. You can also add to that safe areas, center cross, uh, tidal safe area, graticules, mm. as they call it. And uh, Tally, which is made off this uh, convenient RJ connector on the back, and therefore you can turn on your Tally outline or your Tally blocks in any one or a number of colors, and th that's externally doable. So you could actually have your monitor change uh, the outline colors depending on some external factor that the box doesn't even know about. Configuring it is easy. You can either do it on the fly in the field using the buttons here. Um, there are four LEDs. Once you learn what those mean, you just use the three buttons to go through and select various options. Yeah, I should point out that learning what those mean is, is, not, is not quite that simple. There is actually a book. Because um, there, there's like 20 different menu choices in yeah. there, and, and you know some of those have 20 odd combinations within them. But navigating it's pretty easy. My only my only real qualm with it, in fact, relates to that, which is that tricolor LEDs. Are, I find it difficult to discern between green and orange. And and, and that might be and that might be a problem if uh, you know lots of guys are red green color blind. So if that is an issue, then you connect it to the PC output. There's a USB connector you load the software, that allows you to talk to the device. It is very, very unfussy. In fact, we even did a software upgrade on this to prove how unfussy it was. It just happened. And it all just works, you know, even on your laptop. Even on my laptop. Thanks a lot, Jim. Something else that I think is really good, look, this is a small device. This is the sort of thing you pull out of the kit. It might be sitting on the floor. The biggest single danger of that is always that somebody will come along and kick the power out. And I'm really glad to say that they've included a power connector which is captive and just won't fall out. Mm, that's good. The other thing is, um, uh, obviously, with with the advent of this tiny conversion, uh, mm. sort of small form factor casing, uh, conversion generates heat. You know, we're dealing with with high bandwidth signals, so it generates a fair bit of heat. So this is nice solid metal casing. The whole casing mm. acts as a heat sink. It's and not going to go anywhere. No, and better yet, it's got a little rail along the back here. Um, and there's a plate that goes with it. So if you want to actually just attach it to a wall, you just attach the plate no. on the back, two screws, and it's, it's mounted. And, and mounting solutions are something that's so frequently forgotten for little boxes like this. And this, I think that's really awesome. This is one of the things that is in incredible for some of the products that are being designed and engineered in Australia as this is. They represent incredibly good value in an incredibly small form factor with incredible robustness. And I'm using the word incredible a lot because you know, I'm a player in the industry for a while. I'm really, really impressed. Mm. That's good. I, I think it's going to solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. And it's a great bit of glue. This is the decimated design MD Duck.